Hello, Caitlin McDonald here with the Social Speak Network, and we are going to be diving into more detail with Gravity Forms and actually collecting payment through your Gravity Form. Uh, we utilize Stripe, so in this video, I am uh, assuming that you do already have a Stripe account set up for your business and that you have already entered in the um, secret keys and API keys uh, into your Gravity Forms account. Uh, when you have the pro version of Gravity Forms and you install the add-in for Stripe payments, um, it prompts you through that process of where to find the keys within uh, your Stripe account so that the two can talk together. So in this video, we're gonna be going through, okay, now that you have it set up, how do you actually create a product for your Gravity Form to then charge? So let me jump on over. I'll share my screen. And this um, form that I am referring to is one that we made in the previous video for how to set up conditional logic within your Gravity Form. So here we go. Okay, great. So as you can see, we have our demo form here where we ask for the name, how would you like to pay? If they select check, this check box shows up. Uh, with the address. If they select credit card, then the credit card field shows up. Now, in order to have these actually work, that credit card actually work, we need to first insert a product. And so this product is what Stripe will then start pulling information from once we complete the process. So we have the demo product. I typically add a description here um, just to provide more information for the person so they know exactly what they are purchasing, even though you assume they've been through some sort of sales funnel already. Uh, then you can have it where it is um, a bunch of, of different selections here. User defined is great if you already have a contract and they know exactly how much to put in. Um, typically, I end up doing this single product. Let's say it's $250. And then um, we have a digital product. And so I disable this quantity field. So there's no way for them to say, I would like five downloads of this PDF or whatever it is. I would like, um, you know, for coaching sessions, that could be different where they could have a quantity of the number of hours, um, if that's what they would like. And then we do also have things where they can specify how many months, for example, if it's a marketing management program, or if it's a, you know, purchase 10 sessions with you, um, you could have some sort of select box there where it charges them a certain amount for that. Um, so this is basically the product. And so how do we get this credit card to hook up with that product? Again, you can add quantity and additional quantity field different options for it, shipping, total, et cetera. Um, the total is great if you want to have multiple products, for example, uh, they can select which options they want and then the total would actually add them all together. Um, but here, what we wanna do is we want to, oops, gotta click save first, never forget to do that. <laughs> um, so we'll go to settings and then stripe. And again, the goal is to get the credit card field to speak with that new product that we made. And as you can see, there are no Stripe feeds yet. So I'm gonna show you something, um, which is a common pitfall that people sometimes make. And so this product, um, you can either be a product and service or you can have it be a subscription. Uh, there are you know, membership sites and things like that where you have to pay much more than what Gravity Forms is with less functionality, I think, um, for that subscription billing. Uh, you can set up, you know, through PayPal, you can sometimes do subscription billing, but that always made my head spin. This is super easy to set up that subscription billing. You just click it, um, more information will show up. Again, we already did that demo product, and then you can select the billing cycle. So typically it's one month, Maybe you have a membership site where every year, um, or it's a you know a chiropractic package where they're coming in every week or something like that. Um, so this is something that you can have there. You can also set a trial where it starts billing that billing cycle after X many days. 
um, and a setup fee. So if you wanted to have a setup fee, you could um, you know, include that as well. So here, in order to have the subscription, you need to have the email description and if there's a coupon code, for example, you can also add your own metadata uh, here. Now, if you saw in my form, I actually didn't have an email field. So that is something if you want to do these online payments, you really need to have that hooked up, especially if you want to be able to send receipts. So I'm just going to jump to products and services here too. Um, again, we want it to go from that demo product. And so here, for example, I would want name to be one of the items, um, full name. And then see, I don't have the option to send a receipt because I have not added a place for Gravity Forms to send the receipt. So I'm gonna save that and then go back to this edit here. Oops. And it's as easy as dragging this email over here. And because we need it to send a receipt, I want this to be, oops, required. So I'll update the form. And then we will jump back to Stripe, edit this demo product, and we can add the metadata for email. We have email, and now we have a way to send that Stripe receipt. Update settings, and we can take a look at what this form actually looks like now. So again, first name, last name, email, how would you like to pay? Credit card, they fill in their card information. This demo product is right here. They click submit and their card is charged $250. Again, you can set it up as a subscription um, where every month or every time period, it will charge them that 250. Now, if you're using things like paid membership pro, uh, you're used to having to make sure that the initial payment gets charged right away, um, and then it starts doing the monthly payments. For this, it starts doing that subscription payment immediately. So make sure that you are um, entering in the information that you want it to be paid on a monthly basis um, at the start of the service, if you will. So I hope that this has been helpful as you start uh, building out your Gravity Forms and having products and um, programs that you are selling through Gravity Forms on your own website. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Caitlin McDonald, and I am one of the owners and uh, founders here over at the Social Speak Network. If you like this video and you like other training tutorials as well as uh, information about how to best personally brand yourself in your practice. I urge you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are notified of any new videos that we have. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.